friends welcome back to my youtube channel cloud and ai analytics hope everyone is doing good i am viknesh and in this video we are going to see how to build an etl pipeline using cloud data flow so when i say etl we are going to extract the data source data from cloud storage do some transformation as part of uh, cloud data flow using apache beam python sdk and finally we will be loading it into bigquery so this is the objective and before starting i just wanted to give you a quick introduction on cloud data flow cloud data flow it is the most popular service in google cloud platform it is a serverless service and it works on top of apache beam and it is widely used um, widely used uh, service in the google cloud platform so uh, we are going to extract data from cloud storage do some transformation basically the transformation it involves converting csv file to json file and load it into bigquery table so this is the objective and without any further delay let's get started so i'm i logged into my google cloud and this is the bigquery here you can see um, this is where we will be uh, creating one data set and inside the data set we will load the table and uh, this is what the cloud data flow cloud data flow page looks like this so here you can see jobs pipelines workbench snapshots sql workspace so we are not going to use any console we are basically going to use everything inside cloud a uh, clouds editor so here you can see this is the uh, script file which we are going to use for this particular demo so what is this like we are importing the default packages like arg parsing we, we will be passing two arguments like input and output logging regular expression and this is import apache beam and the pipeline options so when you are running it from your local local in the sense from the cloud editor you have to pass the service account so the service account which i will be using for this demo is this is the service account here you can see this is the service account and respective json file the path is this i have placed the json file for that service account i have passed placed it here or else you will get an error call named as uh, uh, service in uh, uh, string string indices must be integers so when you get that error basically it is pointing out when you log, go through that logs and all you will find that it will be asking for the uh, json key file so make sure you pass this json key file whatever the J service account which you are using generate the json key file and place it here and this is the fun transformation function like we are using this class data ingestion and inside this parse method so basically it will take an string input csv file it will be in the form of this it will be in the form of this string input and it will convert into this json object this method is doing that and that, that is the code for it and this is completed into uh, beam pipeline first we are setting up the uh, our, uh, argument parser we are getting the input basically this is the csv file we will be passing this input and then the output is giving the data set id as well as uh, uh, table name so this two argument parser pass input and output then we are defining the beam pipeline we are reading the file from cloud storage bucket we are doing the transformation we are calling this pass method and passing the input string so what is the input string and then finally we are writing it into cloud bigquery so uh, the known arguments like argument is nothing but the uh, destination table bigquery table the schema is so state gender year name number created date everything it is in the string and when we are writing it for the first time uh, like table name if it is not there the table if it is not present we will be creating at the table itself and then the job is com like once the job is completed uh, it will come out of it so this is the code which we are going to use and now we will log we will log into cloud terminal so i will clear the console here and basically i have given all the things here inside the command box itself i have given all the uh, commands whatever we are going to use everything i have given step by step you can go go and you can also try it from your end so first thing and the most important thing is you have to make sure that api for bigquery cloud storage and cloud data services are enabled if it is not enabled the first and the foremost step is you should enable that particular apis and then activate the cloud shell inside this you copy this gcloud auth login you are basically authenticating our service uh, we are basically authenticating our account so gcloud auth login and plus yes and just click on here select the account which you are going to use and allow copy the verification code come back paste it here 
understood yeah now we have authorized our account and clear the console and here or you can also use gcloud config list project so if you want you can list the projects if you are having a number of projects but basically i am using this project only project savani test and the next thing is you have to copy the command from uh, git uh, from cloud storage bucket so this cloud storage bucket it is uh, provided by google cloud itself you have to copy this bucket and copy to your cloud shell editor to your cloud shell editor the same way i have done here so if you see i'll close this so inside this i have done all the uh, script files all those things basically i have downloaded all those things and you can see here copy it and create a data set name bq mk uh, the data set name is us names so i'll create that now bq mk us names so data set has been successfully created if you wanted we can go to bigquery just refresh the page once and you will be able to see it so yes here you can see us name has been created and this is data set december 30 all those things it has been created and the next thing is you have to make sure uh, you have copy this project you create one uh, cloud storage bucket in the name of project and you move this at us names.csv file to csv file which is again from the uh, cloud storage bucket itself you are copying it to this particular bucket which you have created so i have already created it and i have already moved it copy this command execute it and just copy the other two a and b and just paste it you will be able to see the csv files in your cloud storage bucket i'll show you like you have to click on this cloud storage my project id is this is my project id you can see someone it is the same thing i have on cloud storage bucket created and inside this i have one folder name called data underscore files inside this data underscore files i have that csv file so the same thing data underscore files the project id is gs my project name data files and inside this i have it underscore usa underscore names dot csv and we have created the data set as well so this is done cloud storage is done bigquery data set also done now we are into cloud data flow we are we will be creating our pipeline so the first thing is we are we will read the cloud storage bucket we will convert the csv to json and we will write it into uh, BigQuery. This is the uh, flow of our particular uh, ETL structure. So we uh, I have listed those things same here. The next thing is uh, we can do it in two ways. One, you can create a, Pyth a Docker version with Python 3.7 or else uh, we can do it in the same console itself with Python 3.9. By, by here we can see Python iPhone iPhone version is 3.9.2. If you wanted to use Python 3.7 basically you can you can flow the you can consider this so i'll be i have given this you can try it on your own i'll be doing the other approach so this approach is very similar so this is where like data ingestion.py this is the file which we i'm going to execute right so i have i have into this part so cd apache beam so i'll basically i'll tell you how to go there so i'll clear it so cd apache beam so example and data flow examples and data flow examples so if i list it here i can find data ingestion dot py so you can uh, you can directly call here uh, you can write from here that it is very simple whatever i executed the same step by step you have to execute it so basically now we are going to run this one python data ingestion dot py what is the project name what is the job name if you want a data flow job name or uh, you want a data flow job one and region what is the region us central one or if you wanted to run it in asia south one or us east one you can go with this and runner is data flow runner since we are running it in google cloud we will be using data flow runner if you wanted to run it locally you can use direct runner and uh, i'll be using data flow runner staging location is same location uh, test and temp location is also same input is this is the input whatever i copied right so the same input location and output is i'll be making this here so i'll i'll copy it from here us names and replace with and table name is um, usa underscore names and save session the service account email 
so here in this particular piece of code we have passed this uh, json key file right? this json key file belongs to this particular service account email you can give that service account email as well now you can copy this code copy this command come to cloud shell clear the table clear the screen and paste it here so here you can see and uh, inside you don't even you don't need to pass input and output because here also we have given the default if you are not passing anything by default it will take this file it will take from the source the default it will take this location as well it will create the data set lake and uh, if the lake is not created it like if that data set lake is not created then it will give you an error if the da data set lake is created then it will create usa underscore names inside that particular data set but it will not take the default one because we are passing the uh, required one like here you can see like uh, input and output we are passing it here so i don't know what happened I'll... i'll clear it i'll paste it now i'll execute it so now I have an executed job and now it will take some time to reflect this inside uh, our console. So now go to um, data flow. Now go to data flow and here you can see all whatever the ran jobs like successful jobs whether it is successful or a failure you will get the history jobs here. And if you wanted to cross check the running current running job you can just uh, enable this and you have to wait for it like you have to wait. Uh, it will take some uh, 30 40 seconds it will take some 30 to 40 seconds to load this so this is what the csv like the code is data flow data ingestion basically we are not doing anything we are reading the csv file and converting it to json object yeah now you will be able to see it here so this client request all those things it is generated here. the same thing you will be able to see it in the data flow page so just refresher here you can see data flow job one so this data flow job one is as i said earlier in the beginning of the session since data flow it is a serverless service we don't need to configure any system configuration at all if you wanted you can pass that in the uh, you can pass that in with this command you can pass that what is the number of workers how many workers you need for this job those things you can pass but i didn't pass anything so everything it will take the default value and here you can see the what is the job name what is the job id what is the type of job and what is the job status what is the sdk version like apache beam python 3.9 and sdk 2.41.0 and what is the job region worker location you can find all those details here and resource metrics what are how many uh, virtual cpus are present what is the current memory and all those details you will be able to see it here and here you can see the pipeline options so i'll just see all here you can see what are the pipeline options this is not good so job name project region runner staging location temp location all those things you will be able to see it here and it will take around it will take around uh, it will take around five minutes uh, five minutes to uh, execute this five minutes to complete this job so i'll pass the video now and i'll be back once this uh, this after five minutes 17 seconds you can see uh, it is in successful stage and if there is any error you can find those all those things inside this logs here you can see all those logs here you, you will be able to find all the logs details everything here workers logs diagnostics logs so it took around 5 minutes 17 seconds to cross check whether the table has been loaded here we will go to bigquery we will refresh the page here once and we will open the data set uh, us names here this is the data set and here you can see uh, here you can see us names usa underscore names and when you click on this query you will be able to fetch the data so here you can see you will we will be able to fetch the data here what is the data all those things you will be able to fetch it here so totally all the details everything you will be able to fetch it here and uh, yeah this is just a small function so we are converting csv file to json and we are loading it into bigquery table 
you can try it from your end with help of this like you can create one docker image with the python version 3.7 uh, you can try with this and if you got stuck somewhere uh, please let me know i'll uh, uh, like if you got stuck somewhere uh, like please uh, comment it i'll try to help you out also so that's it for this video i hope you learn something from this video i'll meet you in the next video with more interesting content from cloud platforms um, please do like comment share and subscribe to cloud and ai analytics uh, and don't forget to click on the bell icon i'll meet you in the next video with more interesting content until then it's bye from vignesh happy learning thank you